climate crisis has brought this world to a Kairos moment, a time when humanity will either act and help the earth start healing or not. B. Newell offers a word about our participation in the healing of creation's brokenness. I am privileged today to talk about trees. Trees are all over the world. They will, um, as soon as they can find a tiny bit of soil or even moss to grow in, they will put down their roots or spread out their roots and they will grow. There are hundreds of thousands of types of trees in the world, but I'm going to just talk about our few trees. Where did, there. All right, so um, one of our members, Lynn Miller, started a group here in Fremont several years ago called Tri-City Forest Alliance, trying to get trees planted all over Fremont. That group has morphed into Urban Forest Friends to be a little bit more in line with other communities actually all around the world now. And we now have planted 662 trees since the inception, <laughs> with 10 more to be planted on the 24th of this month at elementary school. We are so involved that I want to show you, here was a big major event that we did at the Cabrillo Trail Park. Several of our members, if you have very good eyes, you can see in this slide, and I just want to mention a few, Lynn, of course, um, Susie Claxton, who's the head of our green team, Leonard and Iris, I'm going to say first names only if that's okay, um, well, except for one, Peter, um, Bill Chestnut, uh, Rich Godfrey, and his dog Darwin, always on scene, um, Marion David, right here, um, my grandson Patrick is in there, um, Ethan, who uh, often comes, but not, I don't think he's here today, and several other members of the green team were on site, as, including the mayor and five of the city council persons, and Assemblyman Alex Lee. He's very supportive of our efforts and comes whenever he can. I do want to commend also, okay, so here's, here's my major statement. Trees are big, trees are beautiful, and trees help us sequester not only carbon dioxide, but carbon monoxide. Trees are transformative to our environment. Now, I was told that many of you would be happy if I would just have that up on the board and stop right there. So if that makes you happy, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> if that makes you happy, close your ears and your eyes and you'll be staying. Okay. I just want to say that trees are so important that we each state has its own tree and our nation has its own tree as a, as a symbol. Well, the tree on that, I guess it would be your left, is that correct? The redwood tree, that's California's tree. It's, and that is the, one of the tallest, that is the tallest tree in the world. The tree on the right is the nation's tree. It is an oak. It is also the tree of the state of Iowa. I have to mention that because I'm Mary and David are from Iowa. Um, so both of these types of trees, one is an evergreen, the other is a deciduous tree are excellent at sequestering carbon. I mean, okay, so here's how they transform. The oak grew from those little tiny acorns. One of our members suggests that in the fall, as acorns drop by the thousands around town, pick them up, put them in their pocket, and be an acorn, a, tr a tree warrior, and just happen to drop them in places where they will probably grow as the rain comes. <coughs> the middle tree, the evergreen tree, it's very good at sequestering carbon because it drops its needles almost constantly, and therefore it puts on new needles, which are the best at sequestering the carbon. The leaves on the right-hand tree are from the deciduous tree, beautiful in the fall, messy, but they are great compost and wonderful to look at. They transform my life. They make me happy, and that's a very important thing to my husband. <laughs> so they are transformative. By the way, just an important fact here, fun fact, we would need a forest the size of New Mexico to sequester all the carbon that California produces in one day. So that is the, the need, the greatest need for planting trees. That's one. Okay, let me go back just a minute. I also found out here that, sorry, whoops. I'm sorry, I'm at, okay, I'm sorry. All right, I found out that one of our tree planters and our green team members, um, Julie Ballard is an excellent photographer, and she took these pictures of our trees that we planted out here, I'm saying five years ago, maybe four, 
I do not know the exact, I know I was involved, but I don't remember the exact um, date. They were just tiny little 15 gallon trees when we planted them. Now they are big, they are just healthy. And thanks to mops, I've got to give a nod to mops, we put in the irrigation, their roots are going down, not out. If you water a tree properly, they don't spread their roots out to try to find water, they will go down, ultimately hitting the water table, and you don't have to water out anymore. And they, an oak tree is wonderful because it drops its leaves, some of them drop their leaves almost constantly, putting on new leaves, you can see on the right, the far right slide, there's a little yellow leaf that's going to fall off, and new leaf will be replaced, and a lot of carbon will come in. So anyway, trees are wonderful, big, beautiful, and transformative. And I think I shall never see anything as lovely as a tree. A little, little apologies to the poet Joyce Kilmer. Sorry,